I have been working with the Art Academy and the Peasley Neighborhood S Center since the fall of 2001 on um, a community art uh, collaborative where we have involved different uh, groups from over the Rhine, children and adults, and we have created a lot of public art pieces. The first piece we did was in Washington Park, and it was, um, it's a bench that is uh, there today, and on the back of the bench are little um, handmade clay people that were made by uh, like about 200 people that were involved in the project. And um, between the, the people are, again, the broken white tile, and the people are sort of holding hands around the bench. And it was done in response to the, the civil uh, unrest and uh, problems in Over the Rhine about, about that time. And it was called the I Have a Dream of Peace bench, and it was sort of uh, supposed, to, supposed to celebrate peace and unity and... and that idea of a positive uh, future, with people working together. That was created in, um, in a studio at 13th and Vine called Buddy's Place. And um, it was a great studio. It was donated by the um, Miami University Center for Community Engagement with Tom Dutton, who's the architect that sort of headed that. And, it was great because it was a huge space. It was um, near the park and um, sort of near where the uh, original place where Timothy Thomas was shot. Our biggest project has been um, Imagination Alley, which was a, um, a like a little pocket park that Cincinnati Recreation owned. And it's um, a, a couple doors up from um, Suter's Art Store near 13th and Vine in the warehouse. And it's just this little uh, long, narrow alley with two um, brick walls on e either side of it. So it's very urban. It's long and narrow. And what I liked about this, the location, because I sort of spotted it, because it was near Buddy's place, and I had to drive by it every time I went to work at Buddy's. And I was like, you know, that would be a great place to make a big impact because it's narrow and sort of bordered by these two brick walls, it would be, um, it's almost like there was, there, it was framed. Whatever you did would be framed in that space. And so we started out by putting these big wall flowers, they're like five or six feet tall, based on these kids' drawings. Because I figured um, people, most people don't have a problem with images drawn by young children as far as putting out art out in the public. So these are uh, mosaics that uh, were originally drawings by children, then enlarged. We've got things like ladybugs, <coughs> excuse me, flowers, butterflies, the sun. After that, we decided to make an entrance arch for the park, and we ended up having this 16-foot tall, 18-ton arch that is reminiscent of the arch, I think, in a smaller version of the arch in Washington Park, in um, Washington Square Park in New York City, except that it's covered with mosaics. And we had each group make a, a small panel, again, about freedom and love and peace and all those um, good things in life. And they made some of the tile elements and then the rest was the again the broken black uh, white tile well when that when that was put up it was stunning I mean it was it was a major thing to have it put installed we need to have like this giant foundation dug and we had huge cranes and I mean it was it was an enormous undertaking but it really um, put a, a wonderful front door it made the whole park seemed, the, the wall mosaics, you know, it seemed like it was a definitely a defined space. When, when these pieces were installed, when we had, uh, we did have a dedication, and I mean, people were, they're thrilled to see their work up, and even if they didn't work on it, may, or even if they didn't make the mosaic, they might have made a drawing 
that somebody else translated in a mosaic. So just to be able to go like, wow, I was somehow involved in this. When we did the, had the dedication for the bench, we've got a photo of this woman who found her little lady that she made and she's standing by it and she's so proud. And so it's really great for people to feel like they were involved. And even when we would install some of these pieces, we'd get people that would come by and ask or little kids that want to help. And so even if they didn't make it, they were somehow involved in it. So that, that has been, that's been really rewarding and, and something that I think has been really necessary for people to feel like they, they have a say in something and they, they can do something good.